crazy idea. We could take turns. We could take turns. Sure. All right. Did you, know, you have an idea? You said crazy idea, and then you just didn't even fucking say an idea. I thought you guys wanted wanted to go first. My bad. You said crazy idea. Let's go one at a time, and then you didn't say a crazy idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on. I'll say a crazy idea. I'll say a crazy idea. Okay. Fuck it. What if the intro is us skydiving? What if we just fucking go skydiving? Most expensive <laughs> intro I'm, yet. It, I mean, it'd be cool, one. but like the logistics around that are probably a little crazy. Yeah. What if we did an intro, but like we we like gave each other like blood transfusions? That's Dude, interesting. That'd be like that's an interesting. That'd idea. be shocking. It's, it would definitely be like pretty. Like it would get the listeners' attention for yeah, sure. I feel, I feel like I'm scared of needles. Like I don't know if that works. Yeah. Well, um, crazy idea. Like outside of the podcast, like MythBusters, MythBusters episode about like squirting. That would be <laughs> that would be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a million years could I guess what the words were gonna come out of your mouth. <laughs> All right, guys, I mean, get someone, this. Someone's got to figure this shit out. Yeah, but it's we'll, yeah, well, someone's got to figure this shit out. Is that? Are we using any of that? So motherfucking evil. I'm so motherfucking evil. Uh, MythBusters, guys. MythBusters episode about <laughs> squirting, just as a general concept. We're in the podcast, by the way. What's up, everyone? Dude, just like I like to think. Now. Um, the end of the the end of the the Mythbusters episode. It's like they either have confirmed or busted, but it's like plausible. <laughs> <laughs> they still didn't. Well, figure well, it but out, what dude. would that involve? <laughs> now I want to explore this concept. It's like, I feel okay. Well, I, feel, <laughs> like, I don't know. There's not. Much, I I don't know what else to say. Like I feel like I said what I had to, and then well, left it. well, it's a Mythbusters episode about squirting. But I mean, there's. A <laughs> I bunch feel of... like they're making that shit up. That's what we're busting. <laughs> <laughs> like, or like, like, it's like is that shit just pee. Is this pee or is this his own? The episode ends. Plausible. <laughs> plausible. 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 Is the, plausible, plausible, plausible is the most plausible. BS. Plausible. Plausible is the most BS one because it was like, ah, well, may or may not be true. It's like, why the fuck did we do this entire, you know, it's science like, experiment? I, yeah, we were honestly we wasting our time with that show because I feel like every myth was not some shit that really meant. Like sometimes it would be like, I remember what the only episode of that show I remember was like, is taking only right turns actually faster? And I'm like, I, I feel I like we're that. wasting our time here. Maybe we myth bus like, I don't know, like where the where our taxes are going. <laughs> Some real shit. Why don't we again? Why no. don't we why don't we myth no, bus like plausible? Why don't we myth bus why <laughs> why don't we myth bus why things in this country are going wrong? I mean, why don't we explore topics that are important to Americans like that? Is gay contagious? Myth bust that. Plausible. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Plausible. Music starts now. Happy Pride Boom. Month, I already right. said it. It can restart. It can restart. Explosion yeah, so in the, the music background paused starts now. When I said music Drilling starts. sound Jackson, effects starts now. It's <laughs> you say breathing sound effects? Drilling. Effect? Jackhammer sound effect oh. continuing as I speak. Pause jackhammer. Play music. Welcome to the show. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Jackson, we want you to get no sleep tonight. Um... I, I the one the one episode now, of Mythbusters the, the one episode of Mythbusters that I remember I don't know why I remember this but it was these it was an episode where they were like do you get wetter if you walk or run in the rain turns out I remember dude, that too turns out you get less wet if you walk and so now I always walk when I'm in the rain unless it's torrential downpour and then I'm like fuck that shit if I'm, I remember. if it's raining and I don't have an umbrella. Like I'm gonna run. I don't give a in, fuck. Because here's the thing: it's just less time. It's, more, it's just it's, less time until I get inside. Yeah, I was gonna say That's it's it's more is. like it doesn't matter like if you're getting less or more wet. It's like just no one likes being rained on unless you're a squirter, and then it, it, then we go back I, to the I, original I, MythBusters yeah, idea. And, and yeah, that's plausible. plausible. I remember I I in that. the same vein of that MythBusters thing, they did one where it's like if you're raining in a like a car with the convertible down, how fast do you have to drive so you the inside of your car doesn't get wet? I think that is a horribly dangerous idea to put in young Jake's head. <laughs> Horrifically dangerous. I think that it was like uh, dude, I think it was like 130 miles an hour. You go so fast that the wind like takes the rain droplets. I'm like, don't be telling people that. Someone's going to be out there and be like, yo, babe, I saw this on Mythbusters. Trust us. We're fine. And like, 
Yeah, yeah shit what the is fuck? Game over, bro. Can you drink and drive? Plausible. <laughs> plausible. plausible. Plausible is just like we didn't get any good footage. <laughs> Myth, oh, myth bust this. God. Can you be off the fence twenty four seven? Let's try you it out. Throw that shit in the ceiling fan at parties, bro. <laughs> myth bust. Do we have a fentanyl crisis in America? <laughs> All right. Well, if we could oh, host God. an episode of MythBusters, what actually? What would it be like? Good enough podcast MythBusters episode. What? What are we? What are we doing? Can we actually make a funny podcast? <laughs> oh, plausible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get an F. Immediate hater. Immediate <laughs> hater. Yeah. Can we, it's hater. like it's like one it's like one guy, it's like one of us is like just really over the fact that we're having to do a Mythbusters episode. It's like, all right, Mythbusters this. How about can we make a fucking good podcast episode? And it's like a whole like big like. We guys shut the fuck up. Yeah. It's like, you guys go fucking make some props for the next like Marvel the down, movie or like something. Do downfall, something good with your lives. Like the downfall. Of Please. The fucking podcast. Um, I would probably have like a Mythbus. I mean, we would have to make it like fit. You know, like. Our podcast or whatever or like something so maybe you could be like myth bust like i got it if you're gay myth I mean, bust is that good the brown i'm cutting, cutting that oh <laughs> <laughs> What, let's what, let's what, move what, on to this right. other thing. I said, you're gonna cut I, my said idea. I said I said myth, oh. I said myth bust is it good to be gay <laughs> And then, it it. It and, and then confirm it. And then confirm it. I'm cutting this I out. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm cutting this whole second out. And we're back. Jake, hey, what was yours? What was yours? Is the brown note real? Like, Are you familiar with the like, brown note? Yeah, the like the note yeah, that, yeah. that sounds like music that helps you poop. The frequent... <laughs> that's more of a that's more of a gentrified brown note. The original one is just like a super low frequency that makes you poop. And I'm curious. Like, I was like, yeah, it's actually Mersbell's pulse demon. As a matter of fact, the packaging I, just. Is... Oh my god, dude! Didn't even Bro was like, time. thumbs up to the brown note. I remember there was a video circulating when I was in high school of someone that I knew, and I, I don't condone this at all. Like messing with fast food employees is not funny. No, but he would. There was a guy. There's a guy that I went to high school with who went through like the Taco Bell drive-through, and he rolled down his window. And they're like, "Hi, how can I help you?" And he just starts blasting the brown note as loud as he can. <laughs> and then every like once in a while he'd pause it and go like, Y'all pooping yet? Like, Y'all pooping yet? Y'all pooping yet? What if he like drove back around and he's like That's really he's funny. like, Yo, that was for Mythbusters, like I'm so sorry. Like <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry. Yo, you guys have been on TV this whole time. It's a prank, bro, it's a prank. Please don't shoot me, it's a prank. I oh think- my god, I've, I, have to, I have to tell a story because this is so this is so funny. So I'm when we were going through, I've just revealed in the podcast that I found this old mini DV camera mm-hmm. in my parents' basement, and I'm I'm mm-hmm. digitizing all my parents' old home videos for them. But when we were going through old stuff, my dad found this old DVD of a, t- a a prank show that he hosted on Spike TV called Oblivious. Yes, we did look into this and when I we were going know, through your dad's I don't know IMDb. If you guys know what Spike TV was, but they're the Spike TV like. Like like uh, what do you call it? Like their their log line or their like their yeah. header. Their slogan. Was Spike TV and the lo- the line was, uh, TV for men. That was <laughs> that was their thing, and so it was awesome. just like, it was like Hell imagine yeah. like the most like stereotypical where it's like fucking electric guitars like women like big tits. <laughs> like things like that. So so my dad's like, oh, we should watch. Close is minimal. This show, man. So oblivious. The whole bit was like, oh, it's the prank show. You don't know you're on. Uh, where it was like he, my dad would ask, like basically, like be pranking people, but while he's pranking them, he would ask them questions, um, like, like like trivia questions, and if they got them right at the end, he'd be like, "Oh, you didn't know you were on a trivia show? Here's some money," and he would give them like a twenty for every question they got right, because I guess it was, it was like, so he it was Low funny because they draw it out where he's like, "You just won twenty, forty, eighty dollars," and I'm like. <laughs> What? You're seventeen uh, dollars. Congratulations! Your dad, the first, your dad the first think episode. Of, oh well, you finish your story. Finish your story. First. The first episode we watch is he's a he's a he's a he is a priest who is running a bikini a bikini car wash. <laughs> That's the bit. <laughs> And so there's all these nice. women wearing like basically nothing, like hosing themselves down. And this guy comes to the drive thru. He's like, "Oh man, this is awesome! Like I fucking love titties." Like <laughs> this, is this guy sick, no dude. I feel like it's TV. more incriminating. And than... and my dad's like, my dad's like, oh, like I'm. He's I mean, he's he's good at improv. So he's doing improv with this guy, and he's asking him the questions, like just random shit. He's like, "Oh yeah, what was that movie that so and so Titanic?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, so and so," and he's doing the trivia show. 
And at some point, dude, my, my dad takes his pants off and reveals that he is wearing just a neon green g-string and he starts dancing mind you i am my mom is currently pregnant during while well, this is filming my dad is running around the car wash hosing down butt naked 20 like basically butt naked 20 year old women with this hose like that are sudsing up his car and he's like yeah like anything for the church and i'm sitting on my couch with my entire family going like what the fuck anything is going on for the church and it was such a dude. It was such a tough one. I, I I barely got through it. I'm like watching this, and I'm like, dude, this is so horrible. Let me, I can't let believe me look this, this up. That's this is, like this is definitely like on proto YouTube. Eric Andre. And then it was like the the catch was whoever he whoever he did the trivia with first, he would offer them. He'd be like, hey, do you want to prank the next person? And I'll give you a hundred dollars for every question they get right. Oh my so god, he, they so, invented uh, take the twenty, double it, or give it to the next. Yeah, it was person. basically they like invented that. Where, that? Where it was like that. Then the person would host. And my dad would be in their ear feeding them lines while they what did the, the trivia game with someone else. Um, it was just really. And my my girlfriend for Father's Day got him a a, a poster of the like like a big poster of it. Oh, that's sick! Show, actually, like, well. that's dope. Um, which he said he's gonna hang in my wall so it's in the background of the podcast and we're doing the. Other what, <laughs> what is your What is your dad? Can I ask what your dad thinks of the show and like now? He fucking loves it. He had such a good time on that. I mean, it was it's just him fucking around. Like he, yeah, I mean, he, he got probably paid thought, to basically. He probably thought that was you, awesome. You got a chill ass dad, Jackson. You truly do. <laughs> I got very, just I like, got very oh lucky, shit. But that was kind of my horror story of the. Oh, bro's literally just like story. do it for the vine. He literally was do it for the vine before the vine existed. I found uh, he, he was on, doing it for the vine. I just you found it. This screenshot from the show on YouTube. Dude, <laughs> There's no dude. way. It's just <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. He looks why he looks so different, dude. It was crazy. He was what so much more overweight. I know, hell? unrecognizable. Are those sideburns real? No, of course not. No, the sideburns and the the facial hair is okay. real. But the way the is. way this is on like YouTube in parts, like what the fuck is happening? I'm I trying was, to find that. I was tweaking about the sideburns. I thought that shit it's was a really real for niche a show. Like, doesn't I don't think it really exists much else outside the DVD that he has. Dude, what um, the fuck was your dad wearing here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We're oh. just posting pictures in the oh, Discord no. for yeah. the audio exclusive. I mean, we just posted yeah, something. yeah, this one right. Yeah, this here. is a picture of my dad working at an auto store, and he's <laughs> and he's so the first picture of my dad rise. working at an auto store with a goatee and massive sideburns, and he's also overweight. Carrot which is top. What he was at, at that time, and then the bottom was is my dad again. With, they loved giving him a goatee. He had a goatee and like a <laughs> weird Al Yankovic haircut with like a visor on. He looks like straight up like carrot top. That's awesome. Like literally. Karen top, Karen I know top. you got Stan Lee on the show at one point. I didn't see that episode, but he got Whoa. Stan Lee on at some point. Yeah. That's actually kind of sick that your dad uh, got to work with Did Stan they Lee. film? Wait, did they film an episode at the Groundlings? I have no idea. I, Why? I, I, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at Oblivious Part 6 on YouTube, and it looks like <laughs> it's uh, like somewhere. I mean, my dad was in the Groundlings, so it would make sense. Yeah. We... This is a call to all good enough podcast listeners. If by some miracle you have the DVD box set of Oblivious from Spike TV... Send us that shit, pretty please. <laughs> Thank you. We will maybe shout you out on the podcast. I wish we yeah. had a spike TV out. show made for men. Good enough podcast. That's yeah, where TV it, for men. That's where that's where for men. podcast for so men. Awesome. That's us. We appeal to a male demographic. I would believe. I mean, have you seen our fucking channel statistics? I just say so. Is it bad? Yeah, How bad are they? Fuck. Let's look right right now. I feel like it's pretty. We I have like all of our channel. Woman. Good enough podcast. I feel like all yeah, of our channel please, statistics are unironically shitty. leave a comment if you're a woman. We need this, like please. Like, I want to see. Um, I wonder what my split is. I'm hoping it's fine. Let's check it out. I will. I will bet Jackson your channel split Ooh. is on the high end. Ninety two eight. Ninety two men. Damn. Eight women. Age. No. Ninety. Thing. Gender for the I last say year of the good enough 92, podcast. Ninety two. Ninety two seven one. So it's 90, 92 men, seven women, and then one like other. I think they I think they call it other on YouTube. Demo. For the last year, a good enough podcast, ninety four point five percent male, five point one percent female. Yeah, I expected it. Yeah. Our shorts are a little different though. We got eight point nine percent female. Oh no. What? Is it a hundred percent, Jackson? Is it a hundred? <laughs> For the last 28 days, I have a 100% male. Yes! Yes! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing lifetime. All time, all time, it's 96.7 male, <laughs> uh, three, 3.3% 3 female, and 0% 
unspecified. Ooh. All, all hey, uh, Lifetime uh, for Good Enough podcast is 96% male, 3.8% female. <laughs> I'm gonna look on the a bucket of Jake one. What do you guys give me That's your tough. numbers? I think you, it's gonna be 98% male. Sorry, Jake. I think yeah. 98 too. Yeah. Nah, I th- you guys are probably like on the fucking money and analytics. Let's see Luke on a man, even though I haven't made a fucking Audience. video. I have a feeling because of the <laughs> dude. I saw a comment on the Eminem video that was hey, from the other day. Get fucked, haters. How about how read it in wheat, buddy? <laughs> Only 88% male. Oh. Male, what? huh? And 11.5% female. Wow. Get fucked, losers. That's Booyah. Awesome. And 0.5 unspe... Wait, how do you do, like, all... Oh, see more, maybe? Oh, okay, hang on. Wait, I want to see all time. Uh... <laughs> Guys. Right, it go- men-, men go up. Whoopsies. The Luke on the man one is terrible. Male, is it all time, 98.5%. Eight percent. Damn. For all oh. time. Brutal. That sucks. Well, I might have the best split, but you guys have the best chance of getting picked up by Spike TV. That is true. That's TV hey. for men. That's that's true. men, baby. TV for men, men, baby. TV for men. That's that's how I would describe myself. I'm for for men. Speaking yeah. of speaking of shit for men, Igloo Ghost. That's Yo. for men. Ladies I, need not apply. Lead, need not apply. What do we? Uh, I mean, I, I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> this cap this album. off since I was the one who recommended it. Uh, I listened to this album again today, actually, while I was in the gym. I'm, I I'm like running to get a really quick drink. Kind of I'm so sorry. I have horrible dry mouth. I I can't you're totally fine. I've had dry mouth all day, actually. I, so I relate. Um, yeah. I've been smoking yeah, I, weed, I, I listen, so I've had a ton of. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Guys, don't smoke weed. It's evil. It's evil, and you'll go to hell. Just pray um, to so God. Anyways, that you'll be <laughs> yeah. I, I recommended the Igloo Ghost album. I listened to it today just to be a little more on top of it and also because I was in the gym and I thought it'd be a good vibe. Yep. I might say it, man. I think this beats Quadeca for album of the year so far. Whoa. From the from the albums that I've listened to so far, this is at the top of my list. I love this shit, dude. It's just good music. Like, it's not... I, 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 I don't have, like, some severe emotional reaction to it. But it's just it's, uh, someone extremely talented, in my opinion, like at the height of their intelligence with the music. You know what I mean? I love these tracks. Some standouts for me. I mentioned it last last week. Flux Cocoon. Holy fuck! What a track, man. I love this shit. Um, I love the vocals on it. Like I just, like I, I love the way that Igloo's vocal like voice just kind of fits right in. Like just with the, the, those calm like uh, little melodies. Uh, I also really, on a second listen, I really hung on to Alloy Flea. Um, that shit just goes, man. When those drums just kick in, like, really hard at the end, dude. Oh, my God. I mean, you, you just can't help but, like, want to just, like, oh, like, get up and dance. Um, so, yeah, man. I mean, th- this album's incredible. I love the album art. I love, like, the vibe that he's I got think going the cover on. Art I would is so love badass. to see this live. The cover art is so, so awesome. So that's kind of that's kind of what I got to say. Shout out Igloo Ghost. You love to see it. Uh, I can go next, uh, so Jake's mouth can moist up a little bit more. Uh, I listened to this album a couple hours ago, and I re-listened to a couple songs from it. And I gotta say, I definitely like this more than Neo Wax Bloom. I feel like Neo Wax Bloom kind of got tiring sure. after a while, and I feel like, um, like it's still a good album, but I feel like it almost was like too over the top. This album does a great job at knowing when to take a step back and really like allow things to you know like take a moment to breathe uh and i and i really can see that with a lot of especially the later tracks uh i feel like the outros are a bit extended but i feel like they really help the song feel complete um i love the intro i know it's like only less than two minutes but blue hum is awesome uh so huge awesome. fan of new species uh, jackson already talked about alloy flea um, I loved Spawn 1 featuring uh, Sist. I thought that was a sick track. Um, but I gotta be honest, my favorite songs here were the last five tracks. Like, literally, just all five of them were just so awesome. Nematode, Chlorine FM. I mean, I know it's just an intermission, but it was so sick. Germacrism might be my favorite song on the whole album. Uh, Dewdrop, and then Geosprite XO, like, so awesome. I think... 
in the middle of the track list like it's still really good and entertaining but i feel like compared to the beginning and the like the tail ends of this album i feel like the middle it doesn't get bogged down but it's just kind of like yeah this is the middle of the album like highlights already happened and they're also like going to be happening soon again i don't know the middle tracks haven't fully clicked with me yet but they're still good um but i just think this is super fun and i think I, I was surprised to hear a lot of like drill influence on this album like a, yeah. a lot of drill which i was kind of like shocked by but it worked and I, I don't know i think this album is sick as fuck it's pretty awesome cover art of the year in my opinion so far like such a fucking I love it awesome cover art hey don't i be damn don't no. even try give it a fucking number rating you buffoon 6.987. Not even a 7? That's high. That's nearly a 7. Incriminating. It's pretty darn high. You should die. 6.987. Um, 6.987. Die. Maybe if it was more colorful. I think it's just because it's so, like. I think it works, pale. man. I love that. I love that brown. I don't know. The when I hear. Tones. I love that when brown. I hear, and it goes. The brown note. When I hear Igloo Ghost, I think of colors. Like he's such a colorful artist, I would hope that it'd be a little more colorful. Again, I don't like this album. I, I don't like dislike the album. Dirtier cover. record. Again, we're we're picking hairs, but I feel like the music behind album. it. When Luke was talking about drill, like Igloo Ghost making drill, that's like some of my favorite stuff here. Like Igloo Ghost making drill is like some of the craziest shit I've ever heard in my entire life, and I'm like. Damn, we need like uh, a Billy Woods or someone to, like rap on this. Uh, like, I want to. I want to hear someone go crazy over a Igloo Ghost drill beat. Like that's a crazy sentence that I just uttered, bro. Um, I think this album was good. I think it was a good album. Damn. I think that there were some moments where I found myself kind of getting lost in the music and not in a good way. Not in a way where I'm like enthralled by it. Lost in the music in the way it was like three tracks go by and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even, I thought this was yeah, still like the you first track. Consciousness. Yeah, um, there were some standouts, again, don't get me wrong. We all talked about New Species, Al uh, Alloy Flea and Jackson, couldn't agree with you more. Flux Cocoon, banger, yeah, absolute banger. Dude, so awesome it's so it. Excellent track. Pulse Angel, Chlorine FM, and second favorite track is probably Dewdrop Do Signal. But everything else I thought was just decent it's it's something where it's like i enjoy the sound here but since i just sure. enjoy the sound my bass level drops to like just enjoying it isn't good enough i have to hear like a crazy sticky like hook or whatever like flux cocoon or whatever i think that's like probably a Google ghost best song in my opinion from like the limited experience i've had from Agreed. his catalog his vocals are hit or miss for me because i get a weird like I get a weird young lean kind of vibe from his <laughs> vocals where I'm like, I, I don't know see if that it's actually. like, that's interesting you said that where it's like, I don't know if he's kind of talking like this. Cause he's like, Oh, I'm so cool. And I'm going to be low key. Or he's like, I don't care. Which is like my big thing with young lean where it's like, it sounds like he doesn't care about his own vocals. I, I'd give, and go to sleep. <laughs> give Igloo ghost <laughs> a little bit more slack than uh, young lean in that department. But coming around, I enjoy this. I wouldn't say it's my favorite listen. I think that I needed a little bit more, I guess, hookiness because everything was just like a base level good. And I got a few tracks that I took away that I'm like, yeah, it kind of goes crazy. So, period. Thoughts on that? Well, shit. I'm going to give that an eight. I'm going to give that shit an eight as well. I'm going to give that shit a 6.5. <gasps> I'm going to give that shit a <laughs> fuck you, Jake. <sighs> I'm gonna give that shit a zero point zero Fantano moment. I'm gonna give that. Did shit we up. all hear the new JPEG Mafia single that came out today? As what? a matter of fact, I did. I guess that makes two of us. That came out, dude. I've not even heard about that. I'm being dead ass serious. Are I'm you? Not, I'm not. You're heard not about doing it. a bit. No. Um, I'm not. That came out. I've not. He has a new single. When did he announce it? Today, today. bro. As of us filming the podcast, with for a all music the... video, also that was We've already insane. To it. Have you seen the music video, Jake? That music video, dude. Wild. How did they do? Yo, that? shout out to the dude in that music video. You know the dude. I'm not gonna spoil, yeah. it, but shout out to that dude. Oh shit, he rocks. Oh, freaky, isn't it? Freaky, freaky. 
What a, what a why funny did, type. Why did what a funny name that, to have in why 2024. Why did he take that uh, like freaky uh, mixtape that him and Freaky did together off of like streaming? It's not up anymore. No, oh, probably copyright it. reasons, I would guess. I might vote Although for I'm a huge fan Trump. of that project. I Just never really loved the Second Amendment that much. I'm gonna. I do love that song though. <laughs> I'm gonna I might be. Call the uh, IRS. Pay them a visit. It's real. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Uh, what's his name? Sean C. Because. I recognized a sample. No, I'm just I, I I googled it because well yeah I guess I am really being Chauncey. I googled the sample, bro. Sample Succession. Is, is that it, what the vocal sample? This is? is a line from Succession. I I looked it up and I'm like, in this what universe do you hear JPEG? that? It's like, yeah, this is gonna work. I call this JPEG. Great sample, like producer tag too. That's All from right, so, Succession. It's from Succession. I gotta watch that show then. More reason to. All right, so it's I guess so fucking good. So Jackson, oh, since Jackson, you brought up, what are your thoughts TV on the new? Burns here. He watches Succession, <laughs> but he can't watch. No television burns here. All my Jackson. Shows. What's your thought? What's, what's your thoughts on "Don't Rely on Other Men" by JPEG Mafia? So Featuring it, Freaky. I was I was I was picking up a buddy of mine to go into LA to do like a camera test, um, to test out some like eight millimeter film camera for a shoot I might be working on, oh, and oops. he gets in the car as it drops, and we're both big big. J this is the guy who went to the JPEG Mafia concert with me the first time I went to see him. And I'm like, yo, this should just drop. It's like, fuck, I'll put on the video while we're driving. So he puts, he puts that shit on. And it's one of those moments where you just kind of turn to each other at the same time and just like... <laughs> like, that shit was disgusting. Like, what the... F like, in a good way, where it's like that grimy-ass beat. Dude, I love this shit, man. It's so... I mean, like... You know? Like, I'm the target audience for this entire song. Down to the sample, I'm the entire... I'm the target audience for this song. <laughs> So like I, I absolutely love that shit. The music video is f is fantastic. Um, I mean the samples the samples insane. It's just and it, I I think that most of all for me it feels like an older Peggy song. Like it feels like he it feel, this feels like a bit more grimier, more of like a um, more of like a Black Ken Carson era track. But I think the production still feels fresh and new. Like it, it kind of goes back to that older, more harder sound. But it still feels fresh and new. I mean, my, my buddy sent this in the car, and I, I honestly I can't help but agree. And this is gonna sound like every hip hop head, like Twitter user that you know. But like, it really for me, it's just JPEG Mafia, Billy Woods, and Kendrick Lamar that that are able to hit something that I think just it, it, is always enticing and like just vehemently unique, like vehemently, vehemently unique in every way. Like, I, I, I just don't see anyone else doing this in the same way in, in any capacity. So, I don't know, man. I love this song. So, I listened to it like 10 times a day. It's so good. It's so good. This, God, so, dude. This, uh, so. I'm listening. Or uh, I'm yeah, not listening. Luke. I'm watching the music video. This looks nuts. Who the fuck is this white guy? Insane. Why does he look like that? Why does he look like NoHo Hank? <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> so. Don't rely on other men by JPEG Mafia featuring Freaky. So, this song is incredible. Oh my god, dude, I, I can't stop listening to it. Holy fucking shit, it's dude! It's so good, I, dude. Listen to the song maybe fifteen times today. Not even <laughs> it's so fucking like, good, dude. This this dropped for me when I was like, I was gonna say at the gym, but it's just my dad's basement, and I like <laughs> um maybe the perfect first listen to a song like ever, like on the yeah. heavy bag, like maybe the greatest of all time. Dude, I'm like, I'm going to scream and cream. This is literally like, th this reminds me of my favorite track from Scaring the Hose, which was the title track, Scaring the Hose. But yeah. somehow it's like, it's more, it's bouncier. How does he do it, dude? What? Am I crazy? Is Denzel Curry <laughs> in this music video? I hear you went down. I went down. Did you go down? I, I did go Wait, down. What did you say, Luke? I thought, is Denzel Curry in this music video? Yeah, you can leave that. And we're back. You want. It's up to you. All right, so the only thing, if Save I had to nitpick, <laughs> if I had to nitpick this song, I'm not a fan of the guitar solo. Oh, what? Not huge on the guitar solo. I, love I just think that. it breaks up like the intensity and kind of puts it in this period of like almost being too mellow. Like it like mellows out the intensity, but again, the track just goes back and it just like jumps it right back up. I don't dislike it. I'm just not a hu huge fan of it. I I would have done without it or I would have made it shorter. I hear you went this, down. this music video is fucking insane, bro. What the fuck? I hear you went down. 
Damn, we're all just listening to it. Like, this is embarrassing. I, 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 yeah, Come on, guys. Stop we're professionals. Yeah, I, can't, I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help it. Oh, do you went it's down. It's so good. Down, down, down. Fuck. Um, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I would say a hard, a hearty recommendation from the, the GEP boys to check out the new JPEG Mafia. Uh, just announced a tour, by the way. JPEG Mafia know, coming to a, saw... to a town near you. I'm debating if I if I decide to go, should I go to Philadelphia or should I get a little wacky and wild and go to a Manhattan concert in Terminal Shit. Five? Sheesh! Old ass airplane hangar. That should might be crazy. That will go crazy, actually. That'd be hashtag um, crazy if I say so myself. Could be the move. Yeah. If, if if Luke decides to say so himself, it could be crazy, guys. Any other new music from this week you guys listen to, or, or am I going to? Just, I got a topic. If not. Um, uh, so I have a topic, but it's a it's a little uh, like off topic, so we don't need to. Uh, listen to Brat. Um, oh, the new Mo- Moses Sumney track came out, gang. Uh, oh, really? I didn't. Hear, I didn't know that. Hopefully, a new Moses Sumney track coming down the. I mean, a new Moses Sumney album coming down the pipeline. Big fan of Moses Sumney. I this was a grower on me. The new track Vintage, bit of a grower on me. It's more poppier than his like no, his more normal stuff. He kind of goes he kind of leads the wayside the experimental like industrial r&b that he's kind of known for for the past couple records and it goes for a more kind of pop thing I, it's i think it was just because i was in my hater mode and it was like a little just jarring to me but when i listened to it a few times I'm like yeah this is a fun track vocal hook is nice fun listen yeah period send it over period yeah yeah period as the tiktok girls say period here it says real i i listen to slay queen by any means but i i kind of i was i was just kind of bored one day and i was scrolling or not scrolling fucking brain rot i was <laughs> flipping through my record collection <laughs> scrolling <laughs> through my record scrolling. collection uh <laughs> and i real i i realized that i hadn't listened to that um that daedalus album in fucking forever oh, oh so real. Sure that the shit. Daedalus. yeah the uh, it's actually on Miracle Play right now. I haven't taken it off yet. What's it called again? I'm going to fucking check. Hold on. Is it the Wands one? Wands won't break? No, it, uh, Invention of the Quiet Party. The oh, song? yes. The uh, experience, song experience. Mm-hmm. The accordion samples. I, I, I just put it say, on yeah. when I was doing some work. Dude, that album is still so good. Like, there's so many records on, less, uh, like, tracks on that that just feel new, like, still. Um, and, like, th- th- there's a few misses here and there where it's like, all right, that was kind of a wacky little experiment he tried that didn't really come to fruition. But, damn, man, there's some really solid tracks, even outside of, you know, the, the sample. Some really fucking good shit on that album, man. He just cooks it up. It's real as fuck. I got I to gotta revisit Dejulus because I remember listening to Dejulus. Oh, fuck, was it? When Wands Won't Break or something? Yeah, the you album cover. That. Album cover goes crazy, and I remember enjoying it, like, a decent amount. I want to kind of return to that because it's been a while since I've kind of Hop, damn, Dangelus has dropped some mega shit. I'm looking on uh, the <laughs> band camp right now. Bro has dropped some. Bro is listening to the brown note. He's dropping mega some shit. mega shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when we play the yeah, brown the note. You drop mega shit. Some mega shit. Yeah, shout out to well, damn. He, he yeah, listens to the I mega listen note to then. Mega note. <laughs> and I also. Oh, I can't stop just, shitting. Like, That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> My chair. Like, I need to purchase a new one. Like rocket in. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's been kind of a, a consistent thing this week of like revisiting old things because I find I finally was able to get my local files back on my phone, <laughs> which has been like a literal year in the making because yeah. that shit has not been working for me for some reason. <laughs> and I'm going through my all, all my local files. Dude, you know what I stumble on? Hmm. Limp Pumpo. Dude, oh my God. shout out Limp Pumpo. I was I just I was just Limp remember when that was Pumpo. on your uh, is that still on your topster, bro? No, it was for a bit though. Dude, it, 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 <laughs> honestly, re- honestly, re- 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 listening to it, I was definitely tripping. There's some shit on that that's just not good. Um, but there's, <laughs> there's still tripping. some heat, man. Limp, Limp Pumpo still brings the heat, man. There's some good ass shit, especially on the front half of that record. I and mean, I still too. love that one. And like the, the Barack Obama sample is fucking, cl- yeah, it's literally iconic. And pussy too, like, pussy too, pussy too, pussy too, dude. Limp it's Pumpo. actually like the just, just, just peak. Gotta shit. have them ribs. And, and it's, act- it's what I was listening to when this crazy thing that I'm about to talk about happened to me this week. Um, dude, I, I, okay, so I've been, I've been door dashing on the side again just because I need the money and Hell this yeah. film work is rare to come by and it's good. It gives me flexible hours and all that. Dude, I had the nightmare order the other day. This Uh-oh. shit went wrong. Every, anything that could go wrong went wrong on this. First thing, fi- like five massive bags of sushi. And when I mean massive, ah. 
for audio listeners, Jackson stuck up his thumb and then the auto animation played of a thumb animation. Which There's got to be a way to turn that shit off, man. I kind of like it. I keep I, forgetting. I like... I'll, I'll fix it in a second. Yeah, I, Five bags of sushi. Listen, for those who love sushi, this might be a dream come true. I do not like sushi very much, and it made my whole car smell like fish immediately. Um, second problem. Halfway there, I realize, oh, no, I'm about to deliver an order to the Disneyland Hotel. <laughs> this is going to be a fucking nightmare. I could not think of a worse place to be delivering this thing. It sounds so awful. I, I I follow the GPS. I turn into the the parking lot, and there's like a, like a, there's a guard there. It's like stopping the parking, and I'm like, hey man, what's up? I'm delivering a, uh, some sushi. He's like, yeah, for sure, man. Like, what's the address? I give him the address. He goes, oh man, you're at the wrong place. This is the Pixar Hotel. The what? Yo, this is the Pixar Hotel. The what? Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, how do I get to the other the one that I'm supposed to go at? He's like, oh man, you gotta go. All the way around the theme park. <laughs> Yo. That. So I go all the way around the theme park. And I go, I, and I, again, there's a parking guard there. And she's like, hey, like, what's up? And I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get in. I got to deliver the sushi. She's like, for sure. Here's a ticket for 30 minutes. Go park in this parking lot over there. And I'm like, great. And I'm thinking like, oh, they probably got some spots for food delivery. I'm sure that's like a thing that they got going on there. No. <laughs> Surely not. not. So I park my car, dude, like an acre away, what it feels like from this shit. And so now I, I have a big catering bag, like a DoorDash catering bag. I've got this fucking heavy ass bag filled to the brim with sushi and I'm carrying it across this parking lot. It's like 80 degrees out. I'm on a black top. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm carrying it across. I get to the lobby of the Disneyland Hotel. I'm like, hey man, for the millionth time, I've got this sushi here. I cannot find the room number. Like, I'm looking for the room number. I can't find it. I'm like, I can't find the room number. Where is this? And I show him my phone. And he's like, well, first off, you're actually not even allowed to be in the building. We usually make people come out and get it. But I'll let it slide this one time. Ooh. I'm like, great. So already this is fucked. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, so actually, what you're in the wrong building. Uh, th so this is the lobby. But the, the Disneyland Hotel is made up of five towers. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, man, the Disneyland hotel, hotel is five towers. <laughs> this tower, this tower, if you exit the lobby and go through the courtyard, it is the farthest tower away from you. <laughs> Yo. And mind you, there's no parking close to that tower. It's just like, if you're at the tower, you have to walk through all the hotels to get there. So um, I, I enter this courtyard. Sure enough, there's five towers all in a circle. And this is like an outdoor courtyard. And there's like water parks. There's fucking kids all over the place. It's, play, it's like, eh, it's a small world playing on the fucking speakers. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I feel like I just entered the gates of hell. <laughs> I walk all the way across. And I, ha I have to go all the way again. I'm tr I'm finally get to the tower. I'm following the signs to get to this hotel room. And it is literally the farthest possible away hotel room in the farthest tower away from the parking lot. I've walked like half a mile, it feels like at this point, <laughs> with this massive catering bag. I finally get to the door. And on the delivery instructions that the person left, by the way, they gave no delivery instructions except for this. So that I, I was left totally in the dark. It just says, once you get to our room, call the phone. And I always like follow the orders exactly because sometimes like if you knock or ring the doorbell, people get upset because it's like, I told you to call the phone, like our baby's asleep or some shit like that. So I call the phone number and the second I dial it, I get a tap on the back. I turn around and it's this lady. She's like, hey, are you the DoorDash guy? I'm like, uh, yeah. She's like, oh yeah, my, uh, my friend ordered the food. Um, we're actually all at the pool right now. Do you mind taking the food to the pool? The fucking Dude, audacity of these Dude, I couldn't the believe tip, it. The I tip, the tip, couldn't bro, believe it. They probably they they should have given you head, bro, for all this that you're doing. I, so like, I walked my ass the tip, all bro. the way Short across the thing to, <laughs> to <laughs> dude, all the way across to the pool, and it's like a family of ten. I'm like Jesus, dude, and so and and I I open the bag, and they're all just looking at me. So I'm like. T putting like moving their shit off of their table like organizing their table so I, they I have like room this, to put Jackson? dude they did bro I'm literally like and I'm like damn and I put the sushi <laughs> on the table and they're like Luke, okay stop, great like, like, uh, uncomfortable. And, <laughs> and they're, they're like oh great like uh, the guy who ordered the food isn't here but like we appreciate it and I'm like alright man whatever I, I, I get my bag and I start my fucking trek across the country <laughs> to get to my car as I'm walking away DoorDash message from the guy Hey man, I'm in the lobby. I was gonna meet you there. Where are you? Oh my god, dude, get the fuck out of here, bro. Why was I his? Why were his instructions to meet him at the room? Dude, I don't know. 
Because I'm like, I'm like, if you were at the thing, like you should know. Also, why didn't he thing. send you that message he was as soon as late. he got? Because it's so funny because I think he was tracking me because when I when I went to the Pixar hotel first, I got a message where he was like, Oh, by the way, we're at the Disneyland hotel. Oh, by the way, we're actually across the fucking park. <laughs> I was like, this is ridiculous. But they did live a good. They, they left a good tip. In, in all fairness, it was, like 30, say, it was like a thirty dollars tip. So I, I, I was like, ready for the the story to end. It was like, and the tip, one dollar and twenty seven. But it was it was it was less the money and it was more so just like demoralizing. Where I was like, well, no, you're gonna sit here I, and tell me to bring I, you your food Jackson, to your table I like I'm a waiter. I cannot relate any anymore. Like back when I did DoorDash, there were just some deliveries that I would avoid places that I would have to deliver to be, yeah. because of shit like that. There was one time where I had to deliver to an apartment complex. And the thing that was so fucked up about this apartment complex was that when you pull in to the apartment complex, it's like, uh, it's like one of those weird apartment complexes where it's like multiple different buildings. So like, you'll have like a building one and it's like all the apartments are there. And then like some parking and then building like two is like all B, across over here. B4 yeah. and D7. <laughs> well, one time- I hate that shit yeah, so much. So one time I got a uh, DoorDash order and it was to go to this apartment complex. But for some reason, I only received the address, um, which you normally do. You get the address of where you're supposed to deliver it to. The issue is the addresses were not put on the buildings of this apartment complex because each different building had a different address. Bro. And so, because they were so spaced out. And so when I drove there, I had no clue where which building to deliver it to other than and i know they didn't leave like a description they, of where they, they left they either. left nah, an apartment no. number but get this there's multiple fucking buildings so there's multiple apartments <laughs> with the same number and so Damn. i make my best guess i make my best guess and i leave it somewhere and i'm like okay well this person because i was texting them and they were like oh well not responding you know so i was like okay whatever so i left it there and i took a photo they send me a message and they were like, hey, just to let you know, you delivered it to the wrong building. It's okay though, we got our food, like, thanks for delivering it. And I was like, oh, well, they seem nice. Dude, no tip, bad rating as well. Ooh. I was so fucked and I was like, there's literally nothing I could do. I tried disputing bad it. Bad rating, bruh. Yeah, the, the audacity to give an, uh, a fucking DoorDash driver a bad rating. Like, what the fuck are they supposed to do, man? Like, if you got your food, fucking so shut the fuck up and eat that shit. Like, <laughs> Jesus yeah, right. Christ. Eat that shit. Eat that shit up. I don't give a fuck if I am a bad driver. I delivered your <laughs> fucking food. You didn't give me any. I don't care how so, many. So, did, I, did I give you my dilemma of like um, how, the, how the system has changed and how it fucked me up? At the door, how, at the yeah, because because here's the thing. Back when I was a door dasher, I would you could decline as many. Yes, dude, you could decline. You could so decline. Many. You could decline as many as you wanted until you knew for a fact you were going to get something that was either close to you or had a good tip. That I mean, it would never show you tip, but based on the types of restaurants you could pick up from, you could tell that it was going to have a good tip. So, I always went to this neighborhood area that I knew a lot of rich kids lived because I knew they would. Tip. Yeah, I did the same shit. Yeah. Tip good. Nah, low key. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, because the the problem is like when I got back on the app, I, I assumed that like after a certain period of time it would reset like the acceptance rate. Because when I came back on, I had like a fifty one percent acceptance rate, and it was like in order to get to like the first tier of like oh we're gonna give you more orders, you have to be at a seventy percent. So I've had to I finally made I'm at like a sixty nine percent right now. Oh. Podcasting but for men, right there. I've had to yeah, accept right. every single order in order to get there. Like I have to, no matter where it's taking me. So there's days where it's like ten dollars for a fourteen mile delivery, or some crazy That's shit like awful. that, where it's like, dude, like you're like, actively shit, losing have to, money. But you have, I have to take it because if I don't, like the whole shit's gonna, like I finally got to a point. There were days where I'd have it on for like ten hours and I would get like one order, but now I'm starting to get like consistent work, so I have to keep accepting, man. It's how they get you. It's how they get your ass. Yuck. I, can I can I say unfortunately, so, wait, Jake? No, you you keep going. Well, all I was gonna say was I unfortunately never did any uh, DoorDash. Uh, oh, it's not unfortunate. Like you're, type shit. You're living your yeah, best. I did. Lucky. I did Amazon Flex. I did that. that. What is Amazon Flex? Amazon Flex is like uh, so Amazon outsources their delivery, like their oh, package right. deliveries, and me and Tiffany did it for a little bit. And I was like, yeah, I'll tag along and see, brother. <laughs> 
I know that, that show is awful. Crazy. I feel like that's got to be the worse. Fucking, oh my god, my fucking camera shaked. I feel like that has to be worse than fucking food. The delivery. routes they gave us are crazy, dude. It's like, all right, here's uh, here's 27 packages, uh, and Jeez. you got to drive. Uh, you got to. I think it was like. I think we checked once. It was like. 56 miles to get to all the stops and i'm like y'all are out of how your much are they paying lines. how much were they paying so they started off like at the base level oh dude i don't even remember shit i don't even remember five dollars like, tiffany yeah it was five but five big greens uh <laughs> five tiffany dollars. tiffany had like the app so i was just kind of the the help so it was i mean i would hope it was decent enough to like warrant it because i mean you know but it's yeah. like level system, but yeah, I, yeah. Now that you guys say that, I don't know if that's better or worse than driving for DoorDash. I all, all I have to say about this whole, you know, reflecting on my time and listening to Jackson's experiences, people give like, I know this is like delivery service, but people give service workers so much more shit than they really deserve. Like, I understand yeah. that sometimes a service worker is just an asshole, but. That's probably just because they've had to deal with infinitely more assholes than you have had to deal with that day. I remember, yeah. I remember, um, speak, this, this is, this is an example of like food workers getting shit. And I know this is old news, but it pissed me off so much. Have you all seen this fucking trend of people going to Chipotle and filming? Did I talk about this? Yes. Did I talk about this on the I podcast? I think we mentioned it briefly. Like yeah. I, that shit, like if you do that shit, like, like what are you doing? Like fucking like go home. Like your parents like need you. Like what are you doing? <laughs> like parents need you. Like, who gives a fuck if like look? It's funny you say that because my my, my roommate, know. the guy who lives next next door, actually works at Chipotle right now, and I'm like, dude, you guys are getting slammed with this like portion size thing. Like what's happening? And he was basically just like, dude, it's been really bad. And I'm like, and he's like, it's from both ends. He's like, customers aren't happy because the portions are smaller. He's like, yeah, dude, like like my manager will bring me in like people in randomly and make them and be like, show me what two ounces of rice looks like. And he'll test you on Whoa. how much. That's and crazy. like, if you go over, he'll be like, yo, you're, you're giving too much rice. Like you got to lower your rice percentage unless they ask you for more because we want to keep that shit low. So he's Whoa. like, he's like the managers are unhappy because they think the portion sizes are too big. The customers are unhappy because the portion sizes are too, too small. small. He's like, no one's happy. And then I'm stuck in the middle as the guy who's got to put the beans in the fucking box <laughs> literally and it's like yeah, put the beans hell. in there man so let me put the beans like, bro oh, I'm I like, damn dude that just that blows <laughs> that's However, gotta be the worst I thing will, ever i will continue yeah. to shop at chipotle because where else can i get 75 fucking grams of protein for 560 calories where was the you, where was my thumb your finger <laughs> wasn't even in the like shop bro. The what thumb? the hell bro this is getting ridiculous okay i'm sorry this is enough I'm not, this ends today Breaks this podcast. Today. This is Deletes the biggest audio. era that's ever lasted on the podcast. <laughs> this ends today, the right Jackson now. This is an era. A weird yeah, right. emoji. Like, <laughs> like, I don't even know how Jackson's to Jackson's emoji movie. In the settings. Shit, bro. That General. sounds like a you problem. I, I gotta say, um, yeah, I, I feel bad for the Chipotle workers because, like, they're in such a predicament because they're like, oh, what do I do? Like, not my job that my managers pay me or do I need influencer 500 going, yeah, can I get a little extra beans? <laughs> influencer 500. I think it's it's to the point Fuck, where it's like, it. yeah, definitely not. I think it's to the point where it's like, you like the, the three men sitting here at the Goodness Podcast, am I going to have like a panic attack if the Chipotle worker gives me like, 0.7 ounces less uh, chicken than I'm wanting. Yeah. Not really. Also, I'm just going to let that shit I, go. This may just be me, but I'm going to be honest. Like, the portion sizes they give me, yes, they are smaller. Am I happy that they're smaller? No. That shit still fills me up. Like, here's yeah, the thing is that, like, delicious. you can make half, like, if they were normal, port, like, normal being their old portion sizes, I would eat, like, half of that, and I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to save the rest for later, I guess. No, yeah. bro, like... It's just, the people who are getting mad at the workers are, like... I think we're missing the point here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It's like, like, it's... It's like, yo, can you please add uh, some extra rice, please? And it's like, yeah, uh, so okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll add some extra rice. It's like, no, you don't understand. You know like, what the shitty part is? You better add some fucking they, rice or I'm just going to fucking go back you, there. And I'm trying to bulk, buddy. I'm trying to clean bulk. I'm trying I to bulk. Do you see my fucking biceps, bro? I just got back from the fucking gym. 
My you penis is out. See I my need this. Do you see this? I'm trying setup? to grow it. Please. Yeah. My point is, Chipotle good. Don't blame the workers. Blame the there CEO. Is no blame the system. System wide setting to disable reactions. <laughs> guess the error continues. I guess. Wait, I, can I do it into the Discord settings though? I think. I don't know if it's. There a, is no way <laughs> to turn off reactions. <laughs> This is gonna last forever, dude. Why did reason, they do that? Reason five hundred seventy-three of why Windows is better than Mac. This why is... did they even <laughs> do that? Tweaking. He's tweaking. So again, I tweaking. can't this believe God <laughs> somebody even thought that was a good idea. He's okay, tweaking. let me. Maybe there's Discord. He's, Hold on. Bro's getting melancholic. He's literally <laughs> getting melancholic, bro. Oh my god. Why? Why did they do this? Why God did you do this to me? No. He's becoming melancholy. All I wanted was to turn this shit off in the system settings, he's, and now it's impossible. He's editing yo, the show. Someone fucking. Uh, yo, not, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, is that Kawhi? <laughs> Kawhi Leonard, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm a fun guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, he's gonna do it. Oh, did, does he got it? Does he got it? We're we're waiting with suspense. Bro just face palmed for all the audio <laughs> listeners. Literal literal despair, bro. <laughs> How, Honest however, to it, God. Is, it is not possible to disable for browser based chat programs. Wait, you so you can disable it on the computer, but if you're on Discord you can't disable it? Don't they know we have a podcast to run those motherfuckers? Ooh. Despair. Dude, Jackson is just blank staring at the Dude, I don't the know what to right do about now. this. <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. If you guys are watching on, if you guys are listening on audio, like just, just Jackson's faces of just absolute bewilderment. This is, this is what Jackson. Hilarious. This is what Jackson looks like when he watches porn. He's like, holy fuck. <laughs> He's like studying. He's is this allowed. Taking notes. <laughs> taking notes. I'll try that one later. <laughs> Yo, Jackson is straight I'll up. I'll try that one he later. Is, <laughs> Jackson I just is don't straight know. This up. Is like this is shocking. So, in his wow, glow his part two T-shirt, if nothing else. <laughs> dun, dun, Jake, dun, Jake, that's so dun, that's way dun. funnier than you realize. Taking notes for later, it's like mm, that made a squirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing research for the MythBusters nope. episode we're gonna do. Looks like it's I, I, like I can't. I can't even believe that they would even Jackson. like what. <laughs> we gotta call Mr. Apple. Who's Mr. Apple? Fucking Tim not Cook. Steve. He's. Oh, Tim Cook, Fucking yeah. Man. Mr. Apple. Tim Cooked. Anyways, Tim Cooked, you got, you, bro. You guys, I've been putting this off. You guys want to see my cool toy of the week? Pause. Yeah. Yeah. Peep this out. It's... We're, this is more research for the squirting episode of Mythbusters. I was through Instagram, and a producer friend of mine posted a picture of this camera, and they were like, oh, look, I found this in my grandma's basement. Like, look how cool this is. And I was like, yo, can I buy that off of you? And they're like, no, I'll give it to you, though, for free. And I was like, Whoa. Well, I'll take it. Base friend. In my hand... What the fuck? Check this Yo, case out. And it comes what kind of, of keys? This is what the fuck? What kind of Astro World utopia bullshit is that, dude? Check this shit out, dude. This is one of the coolest finds I've ever found. All so right, so for audio crazy. listeners, it looks like the suitcase that Tony Stark had in Iron Man Two. It literally looks like that, but gray. <laughs> and here it is, folks. Order, an iPhone Six with camera. Of like, of like, <laughs> I think like the order of like home video available cameras was like. VHS, Video 8, Hi 8, Mini DV, or DV, the Mini DV. I don't know if there's a DV. Mini DV, and then, like, just digital. Laser disc. I have in my hands a pretty much brand new mint condition Video 8 camera. Whoa. Whoa, dude, what the fuck? It looks like a small explosive device. <laughs> we'll check it. Well, because I, I took it out of the box at first, and I was like, damn, where's the fucking camera part at? There's no lens. Literally. On it. Yeah, where's the lens? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Check this shit out, dude. Dog, what the I fuck? I couldn't believe this. So th I, don't know, I don't know how this is going to work out for me, but I just have this now, and it's literally <laughs> in perfect condition. And I'm don't know how this is going to work out, I have nowhere else to show now. this off, so I have to show it here. But this is like... I, dude, I turned it on and I was cheesing. Dude, this thing takes the most insane so amount of cheesed. batteries. You like put the batteries into this little like this slit here. Pause. This is insane. I'm so excited to see what this can do. 
I'm, I think I'm gonna pick up some uh, some like video eight tape as soon as I can and just like run some tests and see how it works. That's kind of crazy. Um, but I have the capture card now, so I think all I need is like a a little out port. So I, I need to figure look. out what what how I can connect this because it doesn't have RCA. Um, so I'm still working on that bit, but. That kind of that awesome. kind of goes crazy. Just the look of that thing goes crazy, dude. Right? I mean, this just looks like. I mean, I love like the little rainbow logo it has on the side. Like it, lo it looks like an old like TV like camera. Dude, that this shit does like go crazy. Movie, it's so like, fucking real. Yeah, right. That looks awesome. It's like a prop. So, yeah, it could be awesome. Luke, you got to get on the analog uh, camp. No, I, dude, I, dude. I all all I'll say is I've been working on a little project that I know you two know about. Um, but I'm gonna keep it under wraps. Um, all I'll say is that some tape some digital tape has been used to film the project and uh, i've been i've seen it like live in the flesh be digitized and goddamn it looks so awesome it's such a great way to get an old school look without having to pay like 15 million dollars for a film camera it's so goddamn cool and i want it so bad because that's the only way i can get my cool aesthetics that i want for my videos and it's so sad now you're actually spitting, but I, uh, something about analog is coming back. Like the kind of like shitty yeah. camcorder kind of goes crazy. Dude, it's like analog. This thing has arm. night vision. Too. It's like fucking Alex Kester. Am I right? Fucking, fucking. I don't know. Shut up. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I said that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm sorry. You can kind of see that it's night vision, but my point is, shit is cool. Dude, I love that shit. I also got a new I film. I love that love. shit. I, I got a new film camera, shit. if anyone cares. I'm loving that shit, like that point shoot, you, you camera point shit. shit. I'm loving it, oh, I'm loving it. Yeah, McDonald's <laughs> buy that shit, bro. I know you want it. I know you want a McDonald's. Yeah. My my recent film camera has been having like a, being a little goofy, so I found one on. This is my first eBay film camera that I bought, and it's nice. a little, it's a it's a Canon Yow. Teleshot. Oh, nice. It's like it's so tiny. I fuck with it. Like it just fits in my pocket. It's kind of lit. Are so nice. I know it's small. It gets the job done because my other one, this, this is my third technical point and shoot. Because this is my this is my first one. Dead. The, no longer with us, unfortunately. Uh, the other one works, That's but it's like it's being goofy. Not. They got him. Yeah. They, they got him. What do you mean? And this one him? I just got, so I'm gonna see how him. this shit works. <laughs> I think it looks dope. It's like nice and small, kid. <laughs> compact. Yeah. Period. And the rocks. I'm in my Vagger Boys hat too. She was great. Damn it! Before. I need to get more cameras and then actually, you know, use them. Yeah. Uh, yep. What, is, what parents, the fuck? Man, really what, the old old what the fuck am I doing, bro? I'm such a bum. I don't listen to music anymore. <laughs> I don't fucking. I don't fucking. This is a wake up call. This is, I don't wake make up. videos. Wake what the hell wake am up. I doing? Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Just make any video. Well, Doesn't even have to be a music a video about music or anything. Just make a video and it'll be chill. Yeah. Just just, be, just take a camera. Just go out. Shoot some shit. It'll make you feel good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No plan in mind. Just go create a narrative, and then like be like, yeah. Let's Yo, go speaking, just go find your inner speaking, peace, man. Speaking of creating, a, sound effect speaking on this of shit, creating, dog. creating a narrative, not to give huh? people other than us three, uh, 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 you know, a platform. Um, uh oh. But I gotta say, you all know how Joel Haver uh, is doing that thing where he's make trying to make like twelve movies in one year. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I, I remember. I think you told us about this as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah, so he made three. I won't. Lo okay, I, I'll, I'll let you continue. Then I'm gonna give my thoughts on this. He ma he made three. He made yeah he made three, and then he went on like a complete like just at least on his main channel was just not posting anything. So either I was like, oh, he's either just not doing it anymore, or like he's working on a big thing. And dude, whether it's good or not, I don't know if it's good. I haven't watched it. It is a two hour, 20 minute stop motion animated movie that he made in two and a half months. And with like fully, Mad like, I mean, it's too. not like, it's not like the most <laughs> like detailed stop motion, but it's like return of the mad God. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Like that, the fact that you can make something like that in like two months anyway. I don't know if it's good or not. That is, that, that is crazy. I will say, I think that the idea of like setting out the year and being like, I'm going to make 12 movies. I think that's a really stupid idea. I think you should make it. I think that 
you should if you want to make a lot of movies like maybe have that as in a, in a goal in mind but i think that like setting out like specifically like i'm it's kind of like that like the tarantino thing of like i'm only gonna make 10 movies and i'm gonna quit why like what <laughs> yeah. like what if you change your mind like i don't know that, that just feels well, weird he, to me. he may like, what if the economy crashes quentin what are you gonna do him. then i think it was like this thing where he was just like i'm gonna do it because I feel like even though like he does like want to be taken seriously as like a filmmaker and stuff, he also kind of has like that YouTuber mentality where like before he was making yeah, movies, like more is- well he was like he was like well I make a short film like once a week or whatever, and I'm like bro you're, that's just for YouTube engagement like if yeah. you yeah that's not really like what it like be like yeah I was gonna say like it's just very like it's still like YouTube if that makes sense like I don't know how to describe yeah, I get it that. um but. Hey, I really I liked, um, take you he made a, his last movie he made was called The Text, and I thought it was actually, for for what I thought was a boring concept, he somehow made it interesting by making it a 50-minute one-shot, so I thought that was cool. Um, interesting. Yeah. Kid's talented, that, uh, that Joel Haver. Yeah. Was he on Mr. Smiling Haver, Friends, or was, was his animation style maybe, on it? Yeah. He was on it, and it's maybe one of the funniest episodes of the, of the season. I love you, daddy, I love you, daddy, I love you, daddy, I love you, daddy. Is that him? Stop! No, that's not him. Stop that's fighting! Not him. He plays himself. He plays himself. <laughs> oh, really? That's, that's Stop a Stop I saw clips on it, so I kind of get, like, the idea of it. Yeah, I just I just be catching clips from season two that just make me that. I, the other day, I cut the clip of the, the scientist when, like, his roommate barges in. That shit had me like laughing so fucking Dude, hard. Dude, that shit. Where it's like the Go! Just where it's like, I'm <laughs> going to do my mad skills. And this roommate comes in and he's like, hey, man. Uh, that was Joel. That was Joel Haver. So me and my girlfriend are in the room next door and you're just yelling like a fucking idiot. <laughs> and I just don't know like... <laughs> No, because they do this shit every day, and it's just, they get into this like real. Dude, it's what's so funny is because it's just like the most realistic dialogue right? you've ever heard. Like, no, that's the thing. That's like an absurd I, like, situation. You, you, but they do so that. They do just, that like, almost. It sounds like they're just talking. They do that almost Human. every episode, and every single time, I'm like, I feel like this whole like realistic talking shtick is gonna get old, but it never does, and it's it never yeah. and it's and they find ways to make it so fucking funny, like. I don't know if they'll ever do it better than on the Brazil episode because I think dude, I, I was think literally just so gonna say, dude, I cannot. But people go hate Brazil, bro. people hate that episode, and I do not know why. I think it's, it's I think hilarious. It's I think it's so, so fucking funny. funny. Dude, That's just, I, it's more I, of a I, testament, what, bro, to just how <laughs> how, can, how they can make something so just yeah. nothing funny. One of the one of the funniest parts is when like the guy is talking to him and and he he walks away and um, is that, I, I can't remember what Zach's character is like. Yo, I swear to God, man, I, like, I moved his hand and I thought he was going to punch me. Right Dude, the I, literally I, I, I literally thought he was going to punch me. I literally thought he was going to punch me. God, that scared the fucking hell out of me. So funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the most real shit Dude, I literally ever. thought he was going to oh, punch me. Oh, so funny. Dude, I literally, I swear, I thought that guy was going to punch me for a second. I swear. I think I'm going to wait until the entire season's out to just like binge up like season yeah. two. Well, the last, the last like... episode of the season. Have you all seen the Gwimbley episode? I think I've, I've seen, seen the, the first entire. Two. I've seen Gwimbley and I've seen the President's episode. Oh, well, I feel what like I've seen think the Gwimbley episode just from. People were like, saying that that was. A, I think clips. Mr. President is. I think it's a good episode. I think it's the worst Smiling Friends episode though. It's something about I it. Think, felt... no, I think no, no, I don't think it's their worst episode. I think it's their most like actually conscious episode of like, oh wait, they're actually like saying something politically here. I'm gonna be the but, money president. Yeah, but I think I, the funniest um, part of that episode is whenever the president episode. says he's R-worded and the whole crowd gasps. I don't know why. I think it's so fucking funny. Because it's like, <laughs> the way he says it too, it's just like, I'm just, and then he just fucking like says it. Like, no, like. <laughs> it's so Smiling goddamn Friends funny. is, I, I will say, I'm I'm getting worried about Smiling Friends. I'm almost, oh no. wor- I'm getting worried about how popular they're getting. I'm worried they're getting too popular because I saw like, I'm worried that they're gonna get the Rick and Morty treatment. No, because I don't care what all these motherfuckers I, no, say. No. Everyone was rocking with the cu- first couple seasons of Rick and Morty. Everyone's like, "Yo, this shit rocks. It's funny." Now it's like, you know. Now here's the thing. I already, I, like, I already oh. see Rick that. and Morty did that to themselves. I think that they're too self-aware to let that happen. Because like with Rick and Morty, it 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 wasn't. They just flanderized themselves. Where it where it, it was like what, well, whatever like, was originally captured yeah, in the episodes, I was, I was it just became say, redundant like, and like didn't build on itself. Like season but I think two of Rick and Morty. Like that. I haven't like really like binged watched Rick, Rick and Morty, but from the episodes I've seen, like season two, like they kind of you know understood their ground, like grounding a little bit, and like understood what what made each character like unique. And then season three comes around, and then every character for some reason is just like, wait, 
Rick Sanchez? You mean the smartest man in the universe? Like <laughs> you they make mean him out to be this like Jesus Christ they make, himself. They, yeah, they make him out to be this like god character, and I'm like, Rick is a fucking drunk like grandpa who just so happens to like enjoy science oh, yeah. and fucking ruining Morty's <laughs> life. And also, Morty becomes science. this like jaded like nihilistic teenager like I, just, I don't know i just don't really fuck with he's it. jaded but also a super genius at the same time somehow also yeah, it's, like it's, it's weird. O- overly horny but not in like a funny like like me <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I will say I, they have not seen the whole season i think season two has been great but i think this kind of goes back to what we were talking about either on the main or the bonus episode last week where i feel like just conversation about this show or in media in general just moves way too fast and not fast enough for people to actually or not slow enough to for people to actually like make a good idea of what they want to like or what they think of it or like because i've seen so many tweets already of people being like is it finally time to admit that smiling friends is like not good and then like people will respond to it and be like shut the fuck up dude like what the hell are you talking about it's it's still right it's still yeah it's still fucking awesome could be a you problem and and i think skill issue i I think it's um i don't know Uh, i i will say i do not think smiling friends is gonna get the rick and morty treatment i don't the reason I don't. I hope it does. The reason I don't. I hope it does. The reason I don't is because it's already got the treatment of a different show. It's getting the Steven Universe treatment right now. Have you seen Ooh. the fucking fan base? <laughs> oh, oh no! Don't say Ooh, that. I'm joking. I'm that's joking. somehow worse. Okay, I thought you were being serious. <laughs> but I did see a I'm tweet like, that said that. And it, it, the way they worded it was fucking funny. Like, hold on. I'm the Steven Universe treatment. No! 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 Anything but that. It was actually a really funny tweet, and I want to make sure I'm, I'm not going to do my iconic Victor Yeah, here nothing. it is. At Fussy ew, Baby ew, Bitch ew, said ew, this. Ew, ew, uh, ew. Quote, oh, what a username. I hope Smiling Friends doesn't get a Rick and Morty fan base. They're breaking up into discussion groups right now to decide if the yellow one is gaslighting or if the red one crossed boundaries. Doing frame by frames over a callback reference. I'm sorry, but you got a Steven Universe. <laughs> Steven, we have Steven Universe at home. Tweet. I hate also, that another thing I want to mention is like people. I saw someone on Twitter being like, "Yo, I just learned that Zach Adel like said some offensive stuff back in the day, and like on Oni Place." And I'm like, "Damn, bro." I'm like, was, "Yeah, been there, done." I'm that. like, "He was on fucking Sleepy Cabin. Like, what the what the hell did, did you expect?" <laughs> Yo, did you guys know that Joji used to be filthy, Frank? <laughs> literally, literally, same energy, bro. It is the same exact energy. Like, nothing's gonna fucking happen. Where the hell is Joji gone, by the way? I feel like he dropped something two years ago, and it's just been like nothing. What happened to him? Is he good? I, I hope so. He's been doing va- he's been doing a uh, Dracula flow, man. That's the project. Yeah, I yeah, mean that's, that's literally true. that's what he's been working on lately. <laughs> the only creative output in two years. <laughs> I think Dracula that's hilarious flow. that like Dracula flow. He made one like point, such a. I think he made like such a huge song with Glimpse of Us, which is still a fucking amazing song. Don't fucking at me. Yeah. Um, uh, I, and uh, it's eighty lifted, degrees in my room right now. By the way, lifting I'm that song is crazy. Good. I don't know. Lifting the glimpse of us? Yeah. It goes crazy. Something about it. He saw, didn't he? Wasn't he at uh, Max's wedding recently? He was at Max's wedding, yeah. That's funny as fuck. And I saw a funny tweet where it was like the picture of like the old crew back together. It was like 22 year old white boys with nothing better like to go on or going crazy right now. <laughs> like, damn, that's literally me. That was like, that felt, Dude, that felt targeted. I felt targeted. Can I, can I say, can I say something you. about that whole squad that like, I just didn't see any single person talk about like at all. And I feel like hmm. it's just very funny. Hmm. Um, you know how like the whole like iDubs thing where people are like, he switched up his content. I wish he would make stuff with like Max and and uh, fucking Chad and and Joji and How to Basic. Like fuck him. He's he's gone woke and he won't do shit with them because they hate each other or some shit like that. Dude, like three weeks ago they made a video together. I dubs. Did you Max see and Chad? I didn't see it. I Did you see, see the comment section? No, it was, pro- oh, it was probably just good. Fucking lord. It was probably just the most insufferable oh, thing ever. Dude. But like, I watched. Dude. Actually, I take it back. I watched like some of the video, and I thought it was decently funny. 
I, I, I enjoyed it, but clearly you could tell these guys are just mature and just don't feel like doing fucking Death Twister like anymore. Like, and they were just hanging the out. The comment section is insane. Like, just the sh like I think people have just like opening lost their mind. Ida's mouth and shitting down his throat. I think it people have just like horrendous. lost their mind over this guy. Like legit, I feel like there's oh, there are certain online people that I feel like there's just no way for people to have like actual intelligent like discussion about them in any in any capacity. And I'll just leave it there. I think iDubs is definitely one of them. I did I did think the funniest comment that I low-key agreed with was someone said, this would be an iDubs 2 video back in the day. I thought that was funny. Because <laughs> that's not really an I insult. Like the, <laughs> but, yeah, I like right. the one I like the one comment. I don't know if I like it, but it was just kind of crazy. It was like uh it's like this is the same vibe as like when your cousin gets out of rehab and he comes back to the family reunion and pretends <laughs> everything's back to normal. <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, that's pretty funny. But, yeah, the comment um, section is crazy. But shout out to Cold Ones. Shout out to Joji. Shout out to who can who else can we shout out, guys? Shout out. Give, give me someone to shout um, out. Fuck man, Steven Universe. Shout out. Yeah, Jim shout to Mafia. Yeah, shout out to that too. Damn. Shout out. Uh, any computer programmers watching this? Yeah. Shout out. Shout out, shout out, out to, to shout out the person Libre. who invented. Yes, dude. Yes, I agree. Thank you. Now I can get down with it. Shout right. out to um, cool uh, Harry Dean Stanton. Shout you, you, you out. You should have stopped that Nacho Libre. That was kind of peak. I mean, in my opinion, but that's. Yeah. I mean, hey, let the guy shout out whoever he wants, man. I know Nacho Libre. I mean, yeah, cool, but like, but, but like, like, you you peak. It's like like how can you peak at Nacho Libre? Well, that's like, an opinion. That's you just your opinion. Well, I don't I, understand. It, it, yeah, but like, is it? it, like, is it? Shout out the veterans. Yeah. Are you telling me Nacho Libre is <laughs> over? Say something bad about that. Pal. All right, you, you got me, buddy. You got me. You won't catch me saying a bad word about the troops. And shout out, um, Mythbusters, man. Shout out, fucking Mythbusters. Yeah!